Picture this. You're stuck in traffic, running late for a meeting. And above you, a sleek electric air taxi zips by silently. Someone's soaring over the city, and they'll be at their destination in just 15 minutes. This is eVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, poised to free cities from traffic jams and noise. Today, we're diving into what sets them apart from traditional planes and helicopters, how they work, and how they're about to change our lives. Let's unpack this revolution. First, a quick history. The eVTOL concept dates back to the mid-20th century with experimental aircraft like the Hawker Siddeley Harrier, a jet-powered VTOL plane, from the 1960s. Those early models weren't electric, though. The modern eVTOL movement began to gain traction in the 2010s, driven by breakthroughs in electric motors, battery tech, and a growing demand for sustainable urban transportation solutions. One of the earliest significant milestones in the EV toll space was the formation of companies like Joby Aviation and Volocopter, which began developing electric VTOL prototypes. Over the past decade, a flood of startups and established aerospace giants have jumped in, speeding up EV toll development and bringing it closer to reality. Let's check out a few of the top names leading the charge in urban air mobility. Joby Aviation. This US-based leader is making waves with its S-4 aircraft, featuring six tilting rotors and a range of over 240 kilometers. The company's racked up major funding and partnered with heavyweights like Toyota and Uber to build its air taxi service. In February 2024, Joby signed a contract to launch air taxi service in the UAE starting in 2026. Volocopter, a German company focused on urban air mobility. Its flagship product, the Volocopter 2X, is a multi-rotor EV toll designed for short-range flights within urban areas. Backed by partners like Mercedes, Japan Airlines, and Lufthansa, they're gearing up to make urban skies accessible. Ehang. This Chinese innovator is all about autonomous EV tolls, with its Ehang 216 model leading the pack. It's the first company globally certified for commercial pilotless EV toll flights. When streamer iShow Speed flew in one during a China trip, it became the ultimate PR win. Unlike competitors relying on human pilots, Ehang's betting big on full autonomy aiming to build a citywide ecosystem for passenger and cargo transport. Lilium. Germany's Lilium is developing the Lilium Jet, the world's first electric jet-powered EV toll using electric ducted fans built into its wings. With a projected range of 300 kilometers, it's built for longer, high-speed trips. In 2024, Saudi Group ordered 50 Lilium jets for Saudi Arabia's government use. Archer Aviation. This US company's maker EV toll boasts a 100 kilometer range and thrust vectoring tech. In 2021, United Airlines ordered 200 Archer aircraft to create an urban air mobility network, slashing travel times and emissions in congested cities. They're planning 10-minute shuttle flights from Chicago's O'Hare Airport to a Vertiport Chicago by 2026, compared to an hour's drive in rush hour. EVE Air Mobility A subsidiary of Brazilian aerospace giant Embraer, EVE is working on piloted EV tolls with plans to go autonomous down the line. Leveraging Embraer's expertise in commercial and military aircraft, they're carving out a spot in the urban air mobility race. Additionally, the UK-based company Vertical Aerospace is developing the four-seat EV Toll X4. In a 2024 press release, they announced securing 1,500 pre-orders worth $6 billion from clients, including Virgin Atlantic, American Airlines, Japan Airlines, GOL, and Bristow. As you can see, the market is buzzing with diverse designs and configurations tailored to specific use cases. These designs generally fall into the following categories. 
multi-rotor EV tolls. They resemble large drones with multiple rotors, typically four to eight, that provide lift and thrust. Simple and stable, they're perfect for short trips like air taxis or urban deliveries. Examples include the Volocopter 2X and Ehang 216. Lift and Cruise EV Tolls They use separate systems for vertical lift and horizontal cruise. Rotors handle takeoff and landing, while fixed wing propellers kick in for cruising. A prime example is Joby Aviation's S4. Tilt Rotor or Tilt Wing EV Tolls These feature rotors or wings that tilt to switch between vertical and horizontal flight modes. Tilt Rotors have rotors mounted on rotating nasals, while Tilt Wing Designs, on the other hand, features wings that tilt along with the rotors. These configurations offer high-speed long-range capabilities. Examples include the Lilium Jet and Bell Nexus. Vectored Thrust EV Tolls these type aircraft combine fixed wings with rotors or fans that can be angled to provide both vertical lift and forward thrust. The Archer Aviation Maker is an example of a vectored thrust EV toll. So, how do EV tolls work? These aircraft rely on a suite of cutting edge technologies, starting with the most obvious one baked into their name electric propulsion. In plain terms, they're powered by electric motors running on batteries or other electric power sources. This is a big shift from traditional planes, which rely on combustion engines. Electric motors bring perks like quieter operation, lower emissions, and better efficiency. An EV toll's electric powertrain typically consists of a battery pack, electric motors, and power electronics that manage energy distribution. Next up is the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL tech itself, much like helicopters. This capability comes from various rotor setups, ducted fans, or tilt rotor designs. Vertical lift typically relies on multiple rotors spread across the aircraft, which can tilt or adjust to transition from vertical to horizontal flight. During takeoff and landing, the rotors are positioned for upward thrust, while in cruising flight, they may tilt to generate forward thrust and lift. Distributed propulsion is a game-changer driven by aviation's shift to electric power. In the era of traditional turbofan engines, manufacturers aimed to reduce the number of engines for efficiency. Larger engines like the GE90 on the Boeing 777 with its 60-ton thrust offered better fuel efficiency due to higher bypass ratios. But with electrification, engine efficiency doesn't depend on size. A 10 kilowatt motor weighing 1 kilogram scales linearly to a 100 kilowatt motor weighing 10 kilograms, and their efficiency remains roughly the same, whether they're tiny or large. This opens the door to flexible designs with multiple motors. If a few fail, the others keep running, boosting safety and reliability. Distributed propulsion, think lots of smaller motors, is shaping up to be a major trend in future aircraft design. NASA and other institutes are already exploring this concept of distributed thrust. Tandem wing configuration is another key feature. In EV tolls, this means placing sets of wings at the front and back of the fuselage for better stability and flight efficiency. Traditional planes have a single wing structure bearing all the weight, like one person carrying two buckets of water, making it tricky to balance. Tandem wings are like two people sharing the load, allowing easier adjustments to weight distribution. This flexibility lets designers tweak the fuselage size or seating, say, scaling from five to seven or even nine seats, to meet different market needs. Finally, autonomous and piloted operations. Many EV toll designs incorporate advanced avionics and autonomous flight systems, enabling them to operate with minimal human input and reducing the risk of human error. Still, some EV tolls are built for remote control or onboard piloting, offering operational flexibility and compliance with current aviation regulations. Before EV tolls can fly over cities, they face a gauntlet of rigorous testing. It starts with prototypes, which are put through simulations and wind tunnel tests. Next come ground trials, 
checking batteries, motors, and avionics. Then, flight testing begins, starting with low hovers and progressing to complex maneuvers. Electric systems like motors and inverters are stress-tested for overheating, vibration, and even corrosion. The final hurdle is certification by regulators like the Federal Aviation Administration in the U.S. or the European Union Aviation Safety in Europe, who scrutinize the aircraft's design, manufacturing, and operational procedures. This process can take several years and requires extensive documentation and testing. But the future for EV tolls is thrilling, and key trends are already taking shape. UAM, urban air mobility networks are critical to unlocking EV tolls' full potential. Just as electric cars spark the need for charging stations, EV tolls demand their own infrastructure. Vertiports, which are specialized airports, will feature multiple takeoff and landing pads, passenger terminals for check-in and boarding, charging stations, and maintenance facilities for routine inspections. These hubs will also need advanced air traffic management systems for safe, efficient airspace coordination and control centers to oversee ground and flight operations. Battery technology is make or break for EV toll performance. Advances in energy density, charging speed, and battery lifespan will boost range, payload, and efficiency. Looking ahead, research into solid-state batteries, fast charging systems, and energy management will be pivotal for EV toll development. Autonomous flight systems and AI integration will also shape the industry. Autonomy can enhance safety, cut operating costs, and optimize airspace use. AI can streamline route planning, predict maintenance needs, and make real-time decisions, improving overall performance and reliability. Plus, EV tolls could make urban transport greener by reducing reliance on fossil fuels and easing road congestion. Electric propulsion means lower emissions and noise compared to traditional aircraft. As the industry grows, the focus will shift to sustainable practices, like using renewable energy and eco-friendly materials. This isn't sci-fi, it's the near future. In conclusion, EV tolls are set to revolutionize how we move. Takeoff and landing are the riskiest parts of any flight, requiring skilled pilots. EV tolls, with their vertical takeoff and landing paired with L4 level automation, like highly automated driving, could be the perfect solution. What do you think about air taxis? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and catch you later.